Hi, hello class. What do we have here? Well, this is a bar magnet, north and south pole, and this is a coil of wire, about 10 times the wires running around. So this is a great application of uh, force on the wire by a magnetic field. And in fact, if I just connect this, you'll see that we get torque. The coil turns when I put a current in the wires. So let's look at this. This is a good example again of the writing rule. So what is our general uh, law here? So if you remember we have If you have a magnetic field and you have a wire with some current in it, then there will be a force on that wire, which is proportional to the current in, in the wire. L is a unit vector in the direction of the wire, in the direction of the current, and B is the magnetic field. So this is a cross product, so to find the direction of the force, we need to use a right hand rule. So let me give you a view of this cold wire here. So here it is. Uh, north and south uh, magnet. I have magnetic field going this way, I have magnetic field going this way here. And then I just need to look which direction is the current. I determined that already before. I think for this particular setup, the current is going upward on this side. That's going to be my direction of my L at. And then you know, it wraps around, and then on this side, coming down. So let's do the right hand rule. L cross B. L cross B gives me a force towards you. On this side, and what about this side? So now L cross B, B is to the left, gives me my thumb is pointing inward. So now I have a force inside. So I get two opposite force force this way and of course that way, so that should give me a torque. And interestingly, I can change the direction of the magnet. So now I'll just reverse north and south, reverse the direction of the B field, which way is the torque? Opposite direction, as predicted. And in fact, this is the basic of an electric motor. If we're fast enough and we can rotate this magnet just at the right time, we can keep this thing spinning always in the same direction. Thank you.